Alright, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jose Alfredo Ora. And this message is going to be for um, Aquarius. So, what's up Aquarius? It's been a very long time since I've done a reading for you, right? But there was a request, so I definitely felt like, hey, there's a request for it. That means Aquarius needs to hear something. Alright, so, so the way I'm going to... Um, set up the message today. It's for Oracle card messages and an 11 card spread, all right, with the tarot. So I've updated this month and I'm using uh, Mystical Manga Tarot and I'm using um, the Angel Guide Oracle, Souls Lessons Journey, Moonology card, and the Spirit Animal. I'm pretty sure like everyone has seen these cards. They're very popular lots of um, um, tarot readers and people, right, use these cards, so their messages are very known, right? And I feel like they're popular. So, they have good messages, basically. So remember to follow me on TikTok, Jose Alfredo underscore Ra. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Jose Alfredo Ra, right? So you can see more content from me in regards to um, oracle card readings, tarot card readings, spiritual content, um, me singing, <laughs> or, and also me, um, starting to show you my fitness routine, right, my June fitness routine, I mentioned it on Instagram, so yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, alright, what do we want to share with Aquarius, come on, what do we have here for Aquarius, alright, so I'm going to do the flipper and then at the bottom of the deck, all right? So you get a total of eight Oracle card messages. That's awesome, right? Ease and grace. I've had this one before. Ease and grace, which means that, like, make sure that, like, when you move forward, when you communicate, right, every step that you take, you do it with a sense of grace, right? So don't act out from a place um, that could quite possibly be, like, irrational, right? And then with ease, you see how like the water is just flowing from like one palm to the next palm, right? So be like water, right? Calm water though, right? Not like, um, I was going to say river water, but river water can be like calm <laughs> also, right? But yeah, flow easily like water, right? Whenever there's a barrier, water just finds a way to either like go through it or go around it, right? But just be in that calm sense of energy flow. Um, okay, Aquarius? And then at the bottom of the deck, you have Sacred Plan. So, with Sacred Plan, basically it tells you, right? This is telling you. Your life, you're part of the Sacred Plan of this like whole existence of everything that there is. So don't doubt, right? That like you feel like... Um, because you're not in a, in a place where you can do things like uh, with a sense of grace and you're probably not moving with the ease that you need. You feel like you're being left out of like the universal plan or like you're feeling left out of life or having some type of control or good flow, right? And you need to understand that it's, there's a sacred plan for your existence, okay? That's basically what it's saying. The next one for Aquarius from Soul's Lessons Journey. We want to show it Aquarius. The next one for Aquarius, please. Hold my hand. The second one for Aquarius. Abundance. I like that Aquarius. All right, you got abundance, right? So I am a limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. Come on. You're part of the sacred plan of understanding that you co-create your reality, right? It's what your thoughts are, right? Your thoughts. Um. Provoke, I was going to say, like, your communication, but it goes from your thoughts to communication and then your actions, right? So remember, you can manifest your physical reality, your 3D life, right? You just have to, like, start using your mind in the way that you should to communicate effectively and to communicate on the right frequency, right? That you start doing the actions and you start seeing people around you gravitating towards you that are needed, right, to manifest the reality that you want, the outcome that you want within divine order and timing. 
And then at the bottom you have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So yeah, learn from your mistakes, right? Because they're not necessarily mistakes, they're experiences that are supposed to teach you something, right? So it's either gonna teach you something that eventually will make you um, be able to persevere more and have a, a stronger sense of self, right? Some of it will bring you new knowledge, right? Because you gain knowledge from every experience, right? All right, what do we have here with the moonology for Aquarius? Love it. Nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. Hmm, nothing will come of this situation. So for some of you, and at the bottom you have, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So, Aquarius. You need to see something from, right, a uh, bird's eye view, like a bird's eye view, you can see a larger scope, right? I'm just trying to flex. <laughs> um, but you know Sagittarius is like a spiritual zodiac sign, right? It's connected to like spirituality, spiritual growth, like Pisces and Scorpio. Um, full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture and nothing will come from the situation. So for some of you, you need to right, have a better, a clear understanding of why a certain situation is not going to have the outcome that you want. It's, part of, it's not part of the sacred plan. And nothing will come of the situation of failure. For some of you, you feel it because nothing is really changing, nothing is happening in the connection that you feel like it was a loss, right? But look at the bigger picture. You'll be able to do that when you start to ease, right, flow naturally, energetically, and do everything with a sense of grace, with a sense of calmness, right? Without any expectation. All right. What do we have here for it? There we go. Love it. That was a slide. 16, Coyote Spirit, trust in divine detours. Nothing will come of the situation, right? Look at the bigger picture. You're being detoured. You're being taken on a different route, right? Or taken out of that experience into a pathway that's leading you to a new experience, okay? Aquarius, and take the lead. Stag Spirit. So, it's time for you to start moving in a new direction for some of you Aquarius with the coyote spirit and this is the universe this is God, goddess, however you see fit helping you steering you in and in away from something right that nothing will come of the situation so that you can see the bigger picture that's why because this ultimately will affect right your abundance for some of you. And abundance comes in many forms. Your happiness, your emotional well-being, right? Your financial status. That's abundance. Alright, so let's go with the Manga Tarot. Alright, for Aquarius. I love this. What's the first one for Aquarius, please? Love it. The Hermit. So, for some of you. Oh, and the King of Coins. Some of you. Okay, I'm going to tell you different messages because that's basically is a general reading right and there's in this timeline there's like probably at least a million Gemini's right I mean Aquarius's so Gemini I'll make a video for you too Hermit Virgo energy King of Coins Taurus Capricorn Virgo abundance and King of Coins this is just solidifying that abundance is yours you're gonna be in a really great position financially okay Ease and grace and the hermit. Some of you need to take some time away from being overly social. Um, take some time for yourself, right? To really do some self-discovery. To uh, really do some, like, shadow work, like people like to say. Just like, It's basically like looking at the shit that you carry with you, right? Your heavy, dense energy. That's not necessarily negative, but... It doesn't contribute to you being in a more graceful place, right? And flowing with ease. So, it's time for you to reflect. Pull that inner light, right? It's time for you to, like, just 
take some time to uh, to really look within yourself. Do some self like uh, reflection. Okay, for some of you, the Hermit and the King of Coins. I feel like for some of you, there could be an Earth sign who has been keeping um, a distance from you. Okay, with the Hermit, and maybe they're now with abundance. They're probably coming towards you as the king of coins right okay what's the next one for aquarius thank you and the next one thank you two of coins and the king of swords okay so now we have two divine masculine energies here we have um taurus capricorn virgo energy right earth sign but it could just be somebody again like a boss somebody uh, who's a very um successful right in the work front like in their career, someone who's all about like building um, a certain status when it comes to their professional life. Um, then we have the King of Swords, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, right? A divine masculine, very intelligent, um, somebody who is like mind over heart, probably for some for some of the experiences. So the King of Swords also has cleared, they have the sword, right? So they have clarity of the mind, they have clear intent. There's very few, people can't like really like pull one over on them, so to say, because they have clear understanding. They're very intelligent, right? They're logical. So now we have two kings, a two of pentacles, and the hermit. So there also could be a Virgo, somebody with Virgo in their chart who needs to decide, right? On a connection between an earth sign energy and an air sign energy, okay? It also could be somebody who's more logical, right? Not very overly emotional, very smart. This one's more grounded, more stable, more work focused, right? Probably a little slower with the way they interact with you. This person may tend to be a little quicker, quick with it, all right. I also feel like with the Hermit and the King of Coins, the Two of Pentacles, there's going to be opportunity for you to decide with these Two of Pentacles, like how do you move forward investing? Because you're coming out of the Hermit phase and you're coming out as that King of Coins energy. And now you're ready to like balance some stuff out. You have two coins, two opportunities for you to create something, right? And you're gonna really have to think clearly um, and be in this energy of like knowing exactly the direction you want to go in knowing every step that you want to take right That's for some of you and With coyote spirit trust in divine deeds and the king of swords There also could be somebody with air sign energy who's coming in to assist you right with um, bringing in some balance into a situation with the two of pentacles helping you move into like more like ease right because when you're in that two of pentacles you're supposed to be like juggling going back and forth right there's like this fluctuation but you want to be stable right now we have the four of swords so we have a need for someone is kind of like quite possibly healing doing some self-reflection especially with the hermit and the four of swords the hermit phase, so either you're in this hermit phase or somebody's in this hermit phase, right? Or they were in this energy because of um, basically the three swords. When you have the four swords, that means you went through some heartbreak, right? So, and the fourth sword is the sword that you're going to use, right, to know how to move forward. To gain clarity and understanding, right? It's when you just pray and you stay in silence and you allow for the universe for you to be able to converse with the universe, right? You pray. And then you sh and then you allow for the universe to just like allow the messages to come through. All right, what's the next one for Aquarius? Okay. Ah. Five of coins. Okay, so now we have a number progression two, four, five. So definitely there was a connection or a relationship where the foundation was shaken, 
right? And it's leaving, right, individuals in this connection. Again, regretting it, right? Mourning it, feeling left out, feeling um, unable to understand the change. Okay, what's the next one? There we go. I saw it. Told you. What did I say? The Three of Swords. Exactly. It left some of you trying to balance and figure like, was this Four of Wands going to be able to manifest, right? You wanted that, but it was something that was quite challenging for some of you, right? And could be a King of Swords. It could have left you heartbroken. And you could be the King of Coins energy, right? The one who was ready, ready to invest. The King of Coins is ready to invest. You're ready to juggle and balance your life with this new person. However, this person probably wasn't really sure. And at the end, they could have brought you some heartache because this foundation right here was shaken up. I mean, you have two, three, you have the three of swords and then you have the four of swords, right? So definitely for some people there was there was a connection that ended, that basically put somebody in this hermit face right now. But when they come out, they need to realize that they're still this king of coins, right? And that the four of wands is always going to be possible because there will be somebody always. Once you allow yourself to heal from a situation, okay, Aquarius, remember that. Once you allow yourself to heal from a situation and you do the self-reflection, right? And then you do the inner work, right? Where you see, okay, what was it that I did? What was it that this person did, right? How could it have... Don't think about really how could it have possibly changed. Just think about how the actions that actually manifested, right? What was actually said and what... And the actions that were actually shown. Reflect on that, right? Not Don't reflect on what's the possibility if we would have said this, right? Or we would have done this, right? Don't focus on that. Just focus on what was actually said, what you actually experienced, right? And then you'll be able to like get a bare, uh, clear understanding. The full, yep. Yeah, it's time for a new. It's time for a new uh, journey, right? A new experience. And there's going to be a wish fulfillment coming here because we have the nine of coins, and queen of swords to the king of swords. So now we have. We have the couple from the same suit, right? We have the king and the queen of air signs. So of the mind, intellectual. Two people who are very like, very um, direct, right? They could possibly be a little stern, straightforward with their communication. But highly intellectual. Um, very articulate. There's no way you're going to be confused with what they're saying. But I'm being shown here with the full card. There's something new that's going to manifest for some of you. Right? Who are in the king of coins. It's time for you to start something completely new. It's time for you to come out of that hermit phase and realize your potential with the king of coins energy. Right? Let go of the of the situation from the past with the five of coins. Right? That left you out in the connection. Right? Because it's time to start something new. And if you really want this wish fulfillment. Right? Let me show you the full card though. It's so cool. So if you really want this wish fulfillment, right? If you really want this four of wands, the possibility is there because you're getting the nine of cups, which is a wish fulfillment, okay? It's going to require you to be very sure of like how you're going to disperse, how you're going to level out your energy, okay? And with the queen of swords coming up here, Quite possibly at this current moment, you two may be in the same energy, you and whoever this person is, and maybe both of you quite possibly are feeling a little hurt from the situation, okay? But the potential to rectify, like fix this situation, it's also possible because you have the Nine of Cups, which is the wish fulfillment. But for some of you, there's something, you just need to start something new, okay? All right, Aquarius. That was your reading. A few different messages, right? So it must resonate for a few different people. Um, remember, if this resonated for you, right? And you felt like this was positive for you, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Remember, ease and grace, right? Abundance, it's yours, especially with the King of Coins and a new, a new, the Fool and the Nine of Cups. 
your wishes are coming true, right? Whatever it is that you're really working towards, that you're ready to invest into. Nothing will come of a situation, remember that, right? That's specific for some of you. And Coyote Spirit, trust in divine detours, definitely. And you're going to be in this energy of like, nothing will be able to... You have your guard up, in a sense, right? But you're allowing for truth to be what pushes you forward. All right, Aquarius. Thank you so much for the request, and I will see you all very soon. Love you. Bye.